I got to share with you this brand new feature because this is absolutely mind blowing if you've never seen something like this before. And you probably haven't because no other AI writer in the world can do this. This is like brand new. No one's done this before. So I have these articles here. These are some recipe articles and this concept, this feature I'm going to share with you applies not just to recipes, but all kinds of other niches too. Basically, if you're looking to drive traffic from social media to your blog posts, then this feature can help you. So we have these images. And these are a stereotypical look for a blog post for recipes. You would come to the blog post and you'd see like a featured image and then you'd see like different recipes. Like here's a make ahead French toast casserole. You'd see the image and then you'd have some text, some ingredients, how to make it. Maybe you'd see another recipe. These are great for your blog posts, but they're not attention grabbing enough to have somebody click on them on Pinterest. So as an example, if I go to Pinterest and I type in breakfast casserole, these are a lot of the images I see. Now, some of them don't have any text. Some of them do have text. Now, for the ones that do have text, like this is not the type of image that I would want displayed right here. This is the image I want displayed on my blog post, but I'd want for social a different image displayed. By the way, I don't know if you can hear this or not. I got people working on my house. So if you hear hammering and drilling and stuff, that's what's going on. So don't worry about it. So a lot of times for social media, to get those clicks, you want a different image. But how do you do that? Because a lot of these AI writers just generate one image, one image here, one image here. How do we have a different image for when we go to actually share it on social media? Watch this. When I click this button up here for this is sausage and hash brown breakfast casserole. This is not the image that's going to be shared. It's this one, sausage and hash brown breakfast casserole. Up here, click this apple cinnamon oatmeal bake. Click this cheesy bacon and egg strata. Now there's nothing magical about this Pinterest button. The, these images that I'm showing you that, that would be shared on social media are already on my website and they were created while this article was being written. So it was all done automatically, all using AI. And maybe you don't like this particular style. Hey, that's fine. You don't have to be tied to this particular style. What I'm showing you now is a way to create two images for every image. So instead of having just one image that would be on your blog post and also be the same image that would be shared on social, now you can have two different images, one for your blog post and one for social, and it's all done automatically. Now, not only can that image appear when somebody comes to your site, but it can also optionally appear when you're using the social media scheduler inside of ZenWriter. Because a lot of times when you're creating a site, you don't have any traffic yet. So realistically, no one's going to be coming to your website. And if you have a share button, no one's going to be sharing these things. Maybe when you get traffic, they will, but when you first start out, they're not. So we can use the social media scheduler to pull these hidden or these alternative images. Let me show you how it works. So in the social media scheduler, go to the AI vault. Um, there's an option now to select which image you want. Now you'll have to have created these blog posts with these alternative images. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but assuming you've created the blog posts with the alternative images, then you can choose which you want ZimWriter to pull from when it creates your schedule. You can pull from just the main images, the images on your blog posts, the alternative ones, the hidden ones, or both. Let me show you an example. So I have three completed schedules here for these three blog posts. So I had ZimWriter make a schedule for these three blog posts. And in this first schedule, these, it's, this is just the main images. Okay, so this is the main image for this cozy breakfast bakes. This is the main image right here. This is the apple cinnamon oatmeal bake. This is the second image. If you want to pull the alternative images, you select the drop down alternative. And then we see this five cozy breakfast bakes, apple cinnamon oatmeal bake. So these are all the alternative images. Now there might be some of you that want to pull both images in the drop down. You can select both. Let's go back there. Social media scheduler. There's a both option. And it will basically duplicate the number of uh, items you have for your schedule. So if you had 15 total scheduled items, now you'd have 30 because one of the images will be for the main the featured image or the main image that's going to be on your blog post. And the other one's going to be that hidden image. So you can get a mix and match between all of those. And it would all just go onto your schedule automatically. Now, let me share with you how you can actually make these images. Let's go into ZimWriter. And I have a profile saved. You can, and by the way, you can configure all this and then save your profile if you want to. But let me just share with you how to make those alternative images. So there's a new option down here called alternative images enabled. Now this only works 
if you're creating main images. So if you want an alternative featured image, you'll need to select a featured image first up here. If you want an alternative subheading images, you'll first have to have your subheading images selected. And you don't have to do subheading images if you don't want alternative subheading images. Maybe you just want to do a featured image and alternative featured image. That's perfectly fine. But the point is for whatever alternative images you want, you need to have first a, like a main image, which you'll select here. So once you've configured all this stuff, you can go to the alternative images and it's a pretty simple menu right here. Uh, you'll select your model, you'll select your model. And then if you want to, you can select some options. So for my situation, for those alternative images, I used Ideagram 2A. And then my options, I did a two by three aspect ratio because that's what Pinterest likes. I turned off the magic prompt. I set it to design mode. And I did that for both of these. And then for my prompts, all right, I have one prompt right here. And then I have one prompt right here. And I'm doing some fancy stuff with the prompts. I'm doing a load text because I'm using a custom outline with save text. But the gist of it is you'll have to select a prompt and you can't, there's no default prompt for this, by the way. The assumption is you want a different image for some type of reason. So you'll need to have a prompt that you're loading. And so create the prompt if you want to. But yeah, you'll need to have a prompt that you've made for whichever ones you're, you've selected. And then when you've done that, you simply close the menu and it's all configured. And what will happen behind the scenes is when ZimWriter goes to generate your images, you'll get a, a first image and then the alternative image. So here's like the first image and then here's the alternative. Here's the first, here's the alternative. Pretty cool, right? So it's really that easy. It's so simple to make these alternative images now and have something that looks great on your website, but then also something that would be great for social. And by the way, let's see, there's a plugin that is completely optional, but if you install the plugin, what it will actually do, because I tried to figure out a way to do this and I couldn't figure out a way without having this plugin. And it's, this is a new plugin, by the way, the previous plugin I released for unescaping stuff that you don't need that anymore. If you're on the latest version of ZimWriter, this is a completely different plugin for OG images. And what the plugin does basically is it will go up here to your headers and insert some meta properties for that alternative image if you happen to be using them. So if you're not gonna do this, if you're not gonna use alternative images, then you don't even have to worry about the plugin, but that's what it does. I couldn't figure out another way to, to do it. But what that will allow you to do then is if you go to share this post, for instance, on Facebook, now it will pull the alternative image. It's pretty cool, right? Get them a free plugin if you want to. A couple other loose ends I wanna share with you. Number one, if you use webhooks, there's more data now that is sent via the webhooks. Not only is the, you, if you're using WordPress, not only is the URL for the uploaded image sent in that webhook, but also the URL for the alternative image. In addition, you get the URLs for the subheading images and also the alternative subheading images. So all of the URLs for all of the images are sent now in the webhook if you're uploading also to WordPress. So the last cool feature I wanna share with you that's all kind of related to these alternative images is in the social media scheduler. And this works regardless of whether you're using alternative images or not. For newly written blog posts, the URL is now a URL to the actual subheading. So check this out. This, can you see this? Let's zoom in a little bit. This is, a instead of being a URL to the root article, it now goes to the subheading. So when we copy this, it's like a jump link. We paste it in here. It takes us right to that, that image, that, uh, that subheading section. This is really important for social. If somebody's on Pinterest and they're like, oh, I want to learn how to make this classic, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> classic pasta or something like that. How do I do that? They click the image instead of taking them to the top of the article. And they're like, that's not what I wanted. It will take them right to the, the image and the recipe that they were looking for. And this, again, this isn't just limited to recipes. You can use this new feature for all kinds of other niches. Just think outside the box. But yeah, that's alternative images in a nutshell. And by the way, I've heard recently that Pinterest has been cracking down on AI images. Again, maybe this style right here is not what you're going for. This style I created with this prompt right here. Maybe that's not what you're going for. You can completely change up the prompt if you want to. So this can be whatever you want. So think outside the box. If you're worried that Pinterest is going to crack down on your images, then just modify them a little bit. Modify the prompt and get something a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit unique to suit your tastes. Hey, 
I hope you like this. Any questions, comments, drop them down below. Subscribe, all that great stuff. There's links to Zimwriter down below. Join our Facebook group, almost 15,000 members. So that's it. Good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.